Hi guys, good morning, my Ubuntang, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Eh, 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 eh. If you're new on my channel, please, Pali Hook, subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video, share it to your friends and family, comment below, guys. Also, do not forget to subscribe, okay? Yeah, let me emphasize on that. Don't forget to subscribe. So guys, welcome to story time. Today, I'll be telling you guys a story, hmm? a very, very juicy one, which is why I left my national diploma program in Nigeria to come to the Philippines and study medicine. Yeah, I left it in my second year to come and study medicine in the Philippines. And I'm sure you guys want to know why I left my diploma. Why didn't I just graduate? finish it then come and study medicine here why did i leave it why did i leave nigeria at that time so stay tuned i'm gonna give you guys that gist get your cup of coffee get your cup of juice whatever it's gonna be guys and let's dive into this all right guys so now into the tea into the gist hmm? Guys, I didn't just wake up one day, one morning, and be like, ah, mom, I found this university in Asia, in the Philippines, where I can study medicine, this and that. No. I was very, very busy with my second year in the Polytechnic of Bida. Yes, I was very, very busy there. Because we were preparing for calculus exam, guys. And man, I do not like maths, let alone calculus. Calculus is something that scares me. <laughs> So I was quite occupied that period preparing for my examinations. So the main reason why, or should I say the first reason why I am in the Philippines today studying medicine is because my mom had a connection. She had met a man in her working place whose daughter is currently studying medicine in the Philippines. And she got to know about the process. She figured that, okay, this man's daughter can actually process admission for my daughter as well to come study in the Philippines. And she was like, wow, this is a nice opportunity. And my mom took it. So we had this break. We were still writing exams though. It was kind of like the Easter or the Salah break, normally very short. So we just had to like go home, come back, and then continue exams. So when I got home, my mom narrated to me how she met the man and how I have an opportunity in the Philippines. I was like, wow, this is really nice. This is nice. But I was worried because I'm in my second year. I was thinking like, oh, like in my head, I'm kind of like, why not just finish my national diploma before coming? At least it's a plus. I have my ND and then I'm coming back a degree. You get? It's kind of like... A plus but my mom was like no once you get your admission you would have to travel and start all over start med there so that was one factor she had a connection a very good one second reason why I am in the Philippines today studying medicine guys is because in Nigeria I wasn't studying my preferred course I was studying science lab technology and it's way, way far from medicine. I've always wanted to study medicine, but it was hard to get admission, yes, to study medicine in Nigeria. So when my mom heard of this opportunity for me to come outside and then to study medicine, she took it because the requirement to even study medicine was not it wasn't much at all it was something i had i, I had good work resort good nickel resort and i could come so it was really really a nice idea for both my mom and i that's the second reason why i'm here guys another reason why i am here is compared to other countries mostly european countries Philippines is affordable. It's not cheap, but it's affordable. Although we had a little miscalculations on the info we got, which was quite difficult for me when I came here. I had to pay more because I didn't get the right information. But I've come this far. So by the grace of God, 
I've come this far. Not by effort, but my mom has been able to sort out my tuition this far. So compared to other countries, Philippines is affordable to study medicine. Medicine is not a small cost in any part of the world. So studying it itself is money. It's expensive. <laughs> so in Philippines, it's quite affordable. That's the third reason why I'm here. And the fourth reason is the term. The term to study medicine is not so long. I don't know how to put it. It's not short, but it's not so long. For example, in Nigeria, we use six years to study medicine. And that six years is if ASU strike, ASU is like the body that is in charge of university. That is if that body does not go on strike, <laughs> you would graduate after six years. But if that body, if ASU decides to go on strike, and the strike is not like one strike that will just affect one year or one semester, no. That strike can make you add two more years to your course. So, Philippines is like five years with the um, with the BS bio, with the pre med. One year BS bio, okay, 16 months, that is one year plus. 16 months to do your BS bio, pre med. That is if you don't have a degree. I had to do the pre med because I didn't come to the Philippines with a degree in a course that is related to medicine. I didn't even finish my national diploma. I believe if I had finished my ND, I wouldn't have had to um, do the DS bio again because it's science related, science and lab technology. So I would have just go straight to medicine. But since I did not, I had to do the BS bio and it's 16 months. So after the BS bio, then medicine fully is four years. So you can see that it's five years or let's say approximately five years, six months. So within five years, six months, you are sure that you'll be done with medicine. You are sure that you'll be a graduate. But in Nigeria, except in private universities, you cannot beat your chest and say, except in private universities, you cannot beat your chest and say, ah, I'll be done with medicine after six years. You cannot calculate, you cannot say, if I enter in the year 2011, I'll be out by 2017. Guys, as you can for your hand. As you can decide to add two more years for you. So, that's a, that, that is another reason why I'm here. I am here because the term is short. And also in other countries, you might have to do pre med for about four years. That's a lot. When in Philippines, you can do it for just 16 months and start medicine fully, medicine proper. That's my fourth reason. A shorter term to study medicine. And my fifth reason happens to be my last reason, guys, is the opportunity to explore. Like, it was my first time traveling out. So there was an opportunity for me to explore other parts of the world to see Asia, to explore Asia, to see the Philippines, to explore the Philippines, to learn about other people's culture, other people's way of living. So it was quite exciting for me. I was so happy because I was going to explore other parts of the world. So that's my fifth reason. And that's the juice, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, those are the reasons why I am here today. I got fully enrolled today. So it's official. <laughs> I am a first year medical student. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know you're clapping. I know you clapped for me. So thank you. Yes, guys. So we've come to the end of today's story time. <laughs> the end of the juice, the gist for today yeah thank you guys for staying tuned for watching for staying this far please pally hook do not forget to subscribe to my channel like this video comment guys comment about this video or any suggestion you have for me thank you so much guys and i will see you in our next story time where i bring you another story
Thank you. Stay safe and bye.